Well, what's up everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be taking you guys down to our creek property. Um, if you guys remember back in the summertime, we had a pretty good sized black walnut tree that a storm knocked over. We're going to go down there and we're going to try to cut that up, make a log out of it so we can eventually haul it back to our property and put it on the sawmill and make some, something out of it. Um, but really what we're going to do is check the cameras. We really want to get down there and check the cameras. We haven't checked the cameras in probably about two months. Um, if you guys remember this summer, we were having all kinds of trespassers almost every other day down at our creek property. And half of them were carrying backpacks. We really don't know what they were doing. We don't have a lot of assets or anything down there where people can steal, but a lot of them are leaving trash and stuff like that. Or anytime my family and I went down there to enjoy the summertime in the cool creek, we couldn't in peace because we always had to run someone off or worry about who was coming this or that so uh, here in a little bit we're gonna take a trip down there and we're gonna bring you guys with us and uh, I got something in this truck you guys are gonna want to check out um, this is for anybody with a pickup whether you got a camper shell or not I think you guys are really gonna enjoy this it's gonna be a game changer so let me load up the truck grab the chainsaw and a bunch of other tools and uh, wait for my wife and kids to get ready and we will see you at the creek Okay, so we are down at the creek. The kids are in the truck. It's pretty cold right now, but uh, we just drove down here and what did we notice first thing? Uh, some of our property is missing. Yeah, the, uh, the first trail camera that we had right here close to where our little camp is, up in the tree, is gone. We haven't checked our second one yet, but I'm guessing uh, if they've seen it, we tried to hide them as good as possible and put them high up and put them if you guys remember the video i don't know if i can pull any old footage or not but uh i had to bring the little giant ladder down here and i had it extended pretty far up and i put that thing way up there yeah so i guess we'll go ahead and go check and see if the other one's here um i'm not even going to get the ladder out until we go check but here is the new decked drawer system i want to talk about this real quick um before we go check on that other camera uh hopefully the other camera's there and we can get some footage on there maybe we'll see someone carrying off the other camera and know who it is i don't know we'll see <laughs> that's just another day of the life down here at the creek with the trespassers i tell you and that's why we don't invest in super expensive game cameras for down here no not at all so i mean it's just money out the door it is <laughs> and uh so the tree that we're going to be cutting up is right there it's actually right in our uh, road so we got to get that taken care yeah. of but first let's show them this deck system that we got in the truck guys this is a game changer like i told you look at this this is wow. going to save me such a headache um you guys remember the video i did just a couple uh, videos back where we went to your mom's and we got the bucket of rotten apples well that bucket slid all the way up there and uh i'm not a real little guy and i had to climb up here <laughs> and uh, reach up there and get that bucket well now since we got this deck system um this is nice it's, it's really awesome it's got all this handy storage it is weatherproof wow i mean there, the possibilities are endless with this you don't have to be a man or a female anybody with a truck this will actually come in handy this is nice so yeah it's real nice this so, is the first time i've seen it put together if you're tired of uh all your stuff rolling around in your bed clanking around or rolling to the front of your truck where you can't reach it that's a this, good way to keep things organized this is going to change that 
So right. I'll get all this stuff out of here in just a minute and I'll kind of show you guys a little bit more about this deck system. But we are, uh, well, I am. I know I am uh, super, super excited to have this deck system. Uh, I have been wanting one of these systems for a long time. And ever since I got the camper shell, it's really been a pain in the rear. But now with this deck system, I don't have to reach in there and do nothing. I can pull this out, it's waist high. I can grab my tools, grab this toolbox, whatever you got, and get to work. But first, let's go check and see if that camera is here, and then uh, we'll come back and touch up on this deck system. Right, so uh, since the camera is no longer here, I guess you can go ahead and show them the tree that it was on. <laughs> hey kids, guess what I just seen? What? I just seen some black walnuts. Where'd they go? Um, Look at this. this black walnuts. Oh, they're all over the ground. Look at this. I got a job for you guys. Look at this tree. You know what uh, loves black walnuts? Pigs. How'd you know that? You guys want to help me in a little bit and gather some? Mm -hmm. So black walnuts are actually a natural dewormer for pigs. Did you know that? So we'll, get, we'll gather some up here in a little bit and uh, take them a treat. So, hey, there's a deer track right there. Deer track. All right, so the tree that it was on, you guys can see, look. So just standing right here, there's a no trespassing sign. No trespassing sign. Uh, they're actually all over. We probably had more. It looks like some might be missing. The one right there, there, and there. So I don't know. They would have had to. They would have ladder. had to bring a ladder or a part monkey. I don't know. Well, here's part of the strap. Hold on. Is that part of the strap yep, that it was? That is part of the strap. It looks like it's been cut. What in the world? Always <laughs> something. Somebody, I, I. Yeah, that's cut for sure. I know people can climb trees well, but that's pretty high up there. Yep. There's cut marks too. There is. Yeah. Yeah, it was way up there, and. Oh. It was. Cut. You're right. Look right there. Someone climbed up with a knife. Yep, you can see where they got <laughs> Good eye, Kaya. I didn't see that. Let me zoom in on that. What in the world? Huh. Sure enough. How would they have done that? Oh, uh, they got something really long, like an axe or something on a pole. Some kind of cutting device on a pole and reach up there and cut it. Yeah. Let's what? go see if the other one's gone. That's crazy. Well, here is the other tree that the other camera is on and uh, I don't even see no cut marks, but the camera is gone. Uh, that ain't no cut mark. Nope. You see a strap on the ground? Okay. I cannot believe they took both. I could see even grabbing one, but I that would have actually had to uh, come look for both of them. That's nuts. That's aggravating. That just Very aggravating. makes me furious. Honestly. Well, the bad thing is you can't get a cell signal down here, so we can't get the cameras that give you the text messages when as soon as it's uh, motion triggered. So we just have to rely on the ones with the SD card. So now they got both and uh, we don't even have a camera to pull an SD card from. Nope. Hoping that it would show who took the other one. So I yeah, uh, I was I mean, one. We haven't checked in what, two months at least. It's about 4th of July or so since we've been down here and checked the cameras and that was it. So <laughs> I was hoping to show you guys and I wanted to see for myself. Um, more trespassers but they took the footage they took the uh, evidence no. well so, there you go i don't know that's it i don't see any sign of it here no uh, strap or nothing we'll just have to figure out something else yeah so uh, now um uh, we really need to cut that log up and get it ready to take home but now i don't know because if we cut it up and leave a log we don't want it to get stolen i don't have the tractor down here or any way to load it on anything right at this moment and i don't know if i'll have time to do it real quick yeah so i don't know we'll we'll just have to see i think we'll go ahead and cut it up and uh just limit out and just maybe have it ready to go i think i don't think anyone's gonna steal no tree but you never know <laughs> Well, I didn't think they'd steal the cameras being all the way that high I didn't either. Here. That is, uh, that's nuts. That's irritating. I'm going to have to get, I've got some more cameras at home. Um, I'm going to have to get them and I'm going to get down here and get as high up in the tree as I can and just scope out the whole area and then see if we can get any evidence of anybody that's coming down through here. Well, and then we might know who stole the cameras. Yeah, I don't know. But that's 
fresh. Anyways, there's nothing we can do about it now. It is a, it's it a is. done deal. Trespassers struck again and um, they took everything this time. Okay guys, so like I said earlier, I have been wanting this deck system for a long time and it finally happened. I received it a couple days ago. It took me about two hours to put it together by myself. And uh, I'm gonna go over some of my favorite things about this deck system so far. Um, since I've got it, I just basically loaded it today because I knew we were coming down here to the creek. Um, we are off grid down here. No cell signal, no power, uh, no rural water or city water, but we do got fresh water right there. We'll get more into that in a minute. But I do got my mobile power station in here. Um, this is one of the pool box that comes with the system. You can buy these as added accessories, but it goes with the system. It's got a ruler on here. It's got all your bolt sizes, stuff like that. It's basic guy stuff. And, but in here, uh, I have some water, enough for four people. And then I have this life straw bag. So that's unlimited supply of water when you got a water source like this. Then I just grabbed some random MREs to put in here for now. Now this is not what we're gonna have every day in here. Um, I just literally got this put together today, like I said. Um, I got a cooking set in here, you just never know. But guys, this has allowed me to uh, be a lot less stressful because I am one that always likes to be prepared and ready and organized and this deck system allows me to do that. Um, now I can put all my favorite things in here that I like to uh, be more secure when we go on long trips or we come down here um, away from home. Um, it's always best to be prepared and now you can take a look in here. I've got my bottle jack, I got an air compressor, I got ropes, I got a little toolbox that is an added accessory with this kit. And these are all weather tight. Um, just got some basic tools in here. Battery jump starter, some gloves, a hatchet, some shackles. The decked drawer system is weatherproof, so it protects and secures all of your stuff from Mother Nature. Decked makes organizing, accessing everything you need so much easier. Each of decks two full length drawers can carry up to 200 pounds of whatever you got the drawers roll out waist high giving you easy access to your organized tools and gear the jack drawer system keeps your gear secure if your tailgate is locked you can't open the drawers and you can't remove the system drawer locks are available for added security and peace of mind and best of all decked is 100 percent made in the usa and backed by a lifetime no hassle warranty with a second to none customer service team ready to answer all your questions. So click the link down in the description or go to deck.com forward slash hidden heights for free shipping on your deck drawer system. The feature about this deck drawer system is they got these nice wheels on here, these rollers, and those glide right across when you open the drawer and close them. And each one of these drawers will hold up to 200 pounds. And uh, the material this stuff is made out of is not your regular everyday plastic. This is some heavy duty stuff. Let me close these drawers, get this chainsaw out of here. I'm gonna climb up here and show you guys a little more. This is awesome. And do not forget, it's got your uh, handy bottle opener right there. But one other cool feature about this deck system, guys, look at this, it's got these ammo cans on the side. There is more storage. I'll probably put some chains and some stuff like that for when we go off-roading and all that. And it actually has them on the driver's side as well. Just reach up here, that like that. And there you go, you got more storage, so. But you uh, might be saying, well, you're, you're giving up your bed, but guys, you're really not. You're being able to stay organized and then you still have a good two and a half, three feet right here where you can store stuff like the ladder. Um, I had the chainsaw, my gas, my backpack, all that stuff. And this is not a full size truck. This is a uh, Tacoma with a five foot bed. So I don't have a lot of storage, but now I can stay decluttered and organized with the drawer system.
All right, so I just pretty much got this black walnut logged up, uh, limbed out. So all I gotta do now is go get the tractor, bring it down here next time we got time with the grapple on it, and I'll haul all the brush to our burn pile down here, all the limbs, and then every, anything else that's salvageable that we can mill up or use for crafting or any of that stuff, we'll load onto the flatbed dump truck and we'll haul it home and put it on the sawmill and see what we can't make out of it. Okay guys, uh, this is the tree that fell last winter. It's a big tree, this is a honey locust. You can look at these spikes right here. It's got these thorns on it. These will uh, give you a flat. So we gotta be real careful when we come down here with the tractor. These spikes are pretty big and uh, they are dangerous. This is a huge tree. Uh, let's see how tall it sets off the ground. For about 26, 27 inches. Um, I don't know what the diameter is exactly, but I went ahead and cut about an 11 foot piece out. Whenever we come down to get the black on it, we'll load whatever logs we can on this up and take it home and mill it up. I heard this honey locust makes really pretty lumber. So I can't wait to see what it looks like. This is a big tree. So even though this was a big tree, I only have a 20 inch bar on this uh, still MS 261C. This is a professional grade, uh, Chainsaw, uh, this is the biggest one I got, but it is only a 20 inch blade and this is a huge tree So I had to cut on each side, but we got it done Well, there you go guys. We are sorry We cannot show you any footage of the trespassers because the cameras and the SD card is gone for good I'm sure. Yep, the thieves took it <laughs> <laughs> Trespassers strike again uh, Like we said, this is a uh, secondary property for our family where we just come in the summertime most of the time and come down and enjoy the, the cool water down here at the creek and let the kids play and we're always having to deal with the trespassers and yeah. that's why we put up the cameras to kind of keep an eye on things when we're not here but this time uh, we wait a little too long to come back down and check and the cameras are they're gone yeah well life got in the way and things happen and we don't get down here as often as we'd like but next time we put up cameras um, right. we're gonna have to check them more often and we're gonna put them up probably twice as high like higher than the ladder can go i'm gonna turn into a monkey and climb in the trees and i told you guys we we're gonna pick up some black walnuts we don't have anything to really put them in and they are super messy and stain anything yeah they touch like your hands so we'll definitely whenever we, when we bring the tractor back down here to get these logs hopefully pretty quick yeah uh, we'll bring some buckets or some trash bags and uh, we'll pick up some of these black walnuts and get them to the pigs that's something we need to add to the deck system is some trash i bags. was gonna put trash bags in there and then <laughs> all i had was the 55 gallon shop bags like the big ones yeah it's like oh, i don't want to put them in there they that's something that big. we use a lot during the summer though when we come down here and have um cookouts oh, yeah. and things like that we, we always, always need pick up bags. after ourselves so yeah, we'll definitely have to add that to our list of yeah, packing. And hopefully soon I can do another video over this deck system and I'll show you guys everything that I'll keep in there. It might be a little bit seasonal. There's going to be certain things yeah. I'll keep in there all year round, like all the recovery system, the jack, jumper cables, power supplies, all that type of stuff, yes. food and water. 
But uh, like in the winter time, you might want something extra in there. But Chainsaws. We'll get, yeah, maybe. We'll get into Chainsaws. all that in another video. We'll save that for another video. But hopefully you guys, uh, if you guys are interested in this deck system, do not forget to go to deck.com forward slash hidden heights. And you can receive free shipping if you choose to purchase one yourself. Yeah, it's and pretty awesome. If you do get one, let me know because I am uh, super excited about it. They shipped it straight to the house. It came in a few pieces. Um, I don't know how many different pieces it came in. But the two deck pieces are the main pieces, and uh, this will hold a lot of weight. I can't remember how much weight it'll hold, but people that do not have the camper shell on there, they actually still put pallets of like all kinds of material on there, and it is huh. so well built that it does not have a problem, and your rollers and your drawers still open just fine. So I mean, it's awesome to support a USA. Yes, always. Company. Definitely. Anything you can buy that you're interested in that is manufactured here in the USA, do your part and yes. uh, help help them out with a lifetime warranty lifetime warranty you can't beat that yeah so, so we're pretty impressed with it so far you know, i really like it i do too i like keeping organized that's well important. that keeping all the essential things in there yeah. and keeping it out of the weather is the main true that's the main selling point for me uh weather sunlight um you know snow sleep, yeah rain all that it will run your stuff so, so we've got to come up with a plan to we need a, we need a material list or a checklist on things to, to yeah, put in here we do and then we need to also come up with a plan on how we are going to uh put up the next cameras <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna have to figure that um, out so yeah i didn't think they'd get to these that they did so yeah. sorry guys we wanted to show you trespassers well we didn't want to but if it was on this camera yeah we were wanting to make a we video wanted of to it, see but. the footage and we're always interested also looking at what wildlife comes through oh here yeah always things like we that, get a lot so. of different uh like some rare birds that migrate through here yeah. and then you get your deer and stuff like that sometimes you get the little river otters so the ground we apologize we couldn't share it with you this time yeah they took them all so <laughs> anyways guys if you're not subscribed please hit that subscribe button down below if you're on facebook follow us on facebook yes. if you already have a deck system leave a comment down below and tell me what you like about it yeah and uh subscribe leave a comment like this video and we'll see you next thank time thank you guys we appreciate you